All right, I feel like this video is a little clickbaity, but I've had so many questions and helped so many students about these concepts that I feel like I have to do it. So, what is this video going to do? The five fundamental principles of microeconomics. Terms you must know and understand if you want to end up passing your econ class. So first, probably something that a lot of psychology students have a problem with, but it's economics. We got to move forward. We got to assume it. People make rational choices. <laughs> uh, so a lot of people look at this and they say, okay, does this mean that people are smart? No. It just means that they make the best available decision they can make given the information that they have accessible to them. So you might argue with this. You're like, oh, I know people who are rational all the time. Okay, fair enough. People can seem like they make stupid things. But the fact of the matter is nobody's purposely starving themselves to death. You don't see a whole lot of people killing themselves in irrational ways like on accident you know suicide is a serious issue i understand that but you don't see people doing it accidentally or irrationally so do most people make the best available decision with the information given to them i would argue yes you go to the stores you work you follow laws you eat in general people are rational you don't see too many people jump out of airplanes without a parachute for example Two are costs and opportunity costs. Uh, in general, when we talk about costs, or we're thinking of costs as a monetary cost, so you give up money to go to the movies, to buy food, that sort of thing. Well, in economics, we also consider opportunity costs. The most common is going to be the time you give up to do something. So, for example, you're watching this video right now, trying to learn about the five fundamental ideas of economics. Principles. <laughs> But you could be doing something else with your time. There are opportunity costs for sitting down and watching this video. We think about those a lot in economics. All costs matter, whether they're monetary, time, explicit or implicit. Third, let's talk about benefits. So everything that you do should have some sort of benefit associated with it. The reason you buy an apple is not so you can get an apple, it's so you can get the benefits from consuming that apple. Four, incentives, and people respond to them. So incentives are very important in economics because we assume that incentives drive behavior. If people were truly not rational, then incentives wouldn't matter. But the reason we have laws and punishments and that we pay people to go to work is because we believe that people respond to incentives and that they're rational. Finally, five, and probably the second most difficult concept to think about, is the idea of marginal analysis. So in economics, we like to analyze things on the margin. What does that mean? When we analyze things on the margin, what we're looking at is that next decision. Or choice. So the example here would be uh, are we going to consider how many oranges we're going to buy at the supermarket? No, what we do is we consider the value of that next orange. What is the benefit or the cost of that next orange? The marginal benefit of the next orange or the marginal cost of the next orange and that that's how people make these rational choices. So we're probably familiar with costs, we're familiar with benefits, we may not be super familiar with opportunity costs, but this is important, right? We include all the costs. 
We're somewhat familiar with incentives and people respond to them, the good and the bad. I would say the two things you need to focus on here that you may not be enjoying about being in an economics class is that one, people make rational choices. It's okay to not agree with that, but for the purposes of most econ courses, if you argue or think about this too much, it's going to make it difficult. And then five, the fact that we analyze things on the margin. So we're always looking at the next decision, the next choice that we make. That's the one that's going to be important. And that's how we determine whether we're being efficient and that we're optimizing the use of our resources. So thanks everybody. Hope that video was useful.